And now for our last can. Chud 327, I got a collection of junk. And what we're trying to do here is make a can crusher. Working on a can crusher. In trial runs, it crushes a can about every second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Might be faster than one second per can. I'm gonna take all this and bolt it up on that table. So far, I've got the motor mounted to the table. The grinder device is sitting in place. I'm using these for my connecting rods and I'm gonna make a trough out of this three inch angle. Cut another piece off, have it come up on this side. And then down here, this is gonna be my sled crusher. I'm gonna weld this to the center. Then the connecting rod goes here. This is what goes back and forth inside the trough. I'll put an end on it, cut a little groove out, and we'll be crushing some cans. Okay, the crusher sled has been welded. For building my crusher trough, I'm gonna cut the end of this angle iron off here, and then I'm gonna put it on the other side and make a trough shape out of it. So the old grinder is gonna cut through this now. And now the angle has been cut. That'll be what the trough is going to look like. Okay, my trough has been cut. I've sanded some areas so I can tack weld it together. And this is going to be my crusher stopper. This is part of a bush hog mower blade. That's going to be the dead end for the can. There's the hole that it falls through. Let's go weld it together. From the welding shop, and now my angle is a channel. And plenty of room for a can to fall through. Running the can crusher manually. Oh, that poor can. All of my gear was too big, so I welded a washer in there. And it is hot. The gear going on. I got a washer. I got a big old spacer. I got another washer. And then this nut will go on, tighten everything up. The gear is on and the gear is tight. And I also picked up a pulley that I didn't need on this that I can use on some future project. Maybe a pulley swap mower. Mm. Little test run right before we bolt this little guy down. Seems to be working pretty smooth. Seems to be. Alright, let's drill some holes and put four bolts in this little baby. Whoops. stack of flex plates I got a bright orange one it's slightly smaller that would give you more squeezing power and less slide action that might be the one I need to go with maybe I'll try the big one first and then I can always test the small one later all right this thing's coming along we got to mount this trough into place and I've got holes here to go onto this stud but this is gonna stick out way past the edge of the table I'm going to pull it in, drill me some new holes here, probably cut these off, make it a little more compact.
about ready to test drive it. This is the maiden voyage. I've still got to reverse the rotation right now. It's crushing the can at an angle. How about crushing this angle and then pull out, crush them down here. So let's reverse that rotation. Reversing the rotation. Let's see here. Swap the red and the black for counterclockwise. All right, we can do that. Okay, do you see the red? Do you see the black? We're about to swap those. This red and that black, and then it'll rotate the other way. All right, the wires have been swapped, and it should now turn the other way, which would be counterclockwise. Hit it. Oh, yeah. Now I just need some cans. This thing opens up about 10 inches. I don't know if there's a 10 inch can out there. So I think now I might want to go to that other flex plate, the smaller one. It'd be less travel down here and more crushing power. That's what I'm thinking, more crushing power. And on the smaller flex plate, I went ahead and drilled two holes closer in to make it an even shorter throw. Less throw, more power. More throw, less power. I'm going to try it down here. Let's get this thing back together. Smaller updated flex plate. It'll open up to about seven and three quarter inches. That's over two inches less throw. So that's going to increase our squishing power. And these two volunteers are ready to roll. Miss Mock gave me that one. And that was my own. Those were from lunch. Crusher slider, I pulled that bolt out so the nut can't fall off. And I put a pin, I pinned the pin. This is off a of mower deck. Got another one right up here. Quick release. I also dropped a little oil in the trough to make the slider slide a little easier. Now this, this was off of a receiver hitch, and I'm thinking about putting it on as a safety loop, keeping the slider in the trough. That, or I might take it and put it on the side of my boat trailer for a spare tire holder. Mm, TBA. To be announced. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Safety loop or spare tire holder? One of those stupid Starbucks cans. Here goes. Crunch it. And now for our last can. Found this little beer can down the road. Let's crush it. And the problem is I got this crusher and I've got no cans. It's like getting a new car with no gas. Or a mud truck with no mud. Or an airplane with no air.